everybody. Hi Deb, I made it. I got some pressing to do, so I'm going to turn this so I can get my pressing done. You may not be able to see me really well, but I want to get my pressing going. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit and um, start pressing. So it looks like we're here. I'm just waiting for Lindsay to join too. She should be here in a couple minutes. So we'll turn and see what happens. You know, it's not the easiest trying to do this with this, you know, like the close up with the big computer, but this is what it is. Okay. So look at this huge strip of binding I have today. Oh. Trying to get caught up on things, and it's not working the way I planned it to be at all. And I know you can't see me, but you'll be able to in a minute, okay? I gotta find scissors here. I need to clip. Who's here? Let's see. Becky's here. Arlene's here. Sonia's here. Brandy's there. Hello. Hello, Susan from Penyan. You're very close to me. I didn't realize that. You're not far from me at all. Hi, Gay. Hi, Ruth. Who? I missed somebody. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Suzanne. Boy, guys, it's been a really neat week this week. There's a lot to talk about again. I thought I heard my husband coming into the studio, but I guess not. He's doing something on his side. He's making noise. We got a whole bunch of stuff out of storage this today, so my husband's going through some of that. We're trying to... Um, you know, that spring cleaning stuff. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Oh, wow. Look at everybody. Are you invisible? Nobody's invisible. Hi, Kay. So anyhow, that's what I'm doing. I just want to get this binding pressed, and then I can pay attention to you guys. But I got to get this pressed so that I can go ahead and get it put on later. And it's hard to pay attention to you guys and do something. So just bear with me while I get through this. And then, um, then we can talk. Oh, that's what's going on. I think, I think, uh, Linz, did you adjust my iron to synthet synthetic? I don't think Lindsay's on there yet, is she? She probably doesn't realize I'm on. Hi, my sister. Plain Jane's on. Jane, did you tell mom? I texted her too, but I don't know if mom knows. Okay, guys, I'm trying to do high roll call and do this at the same time. It's not working. Oh, well, I'll get to it. Maybe I can scroll back. Do you guys know if I can scroll back? Oh, okay. Jane said that she did not tell mom yet. Maybe if Lindsay gets on, Lindsay can. I think she was going to get on, but today is the only day. Love the first part of the panel quilt with the, with the beehive. I think it's really cute too, Arlene, and I cannot wait to finish. Yeah, I can't wait to get it finished. In fact, um, that's what I'm going to probably be working on after I do this. But quite honestly, I shouldn't tell you this, but I can't find the rest of the fabric that I have for that. Lindsay was just texting me, telling me that she doesn't have any of it. And yes, Suzanne, this is a huge long strip um, because what I don't use on the quilt, I'll just throw in my two and a half inch strip for her. And I was being too lazy to calculate out exactly how much I needed. So that's what I get for being lazy. Now the strip is longer than what I'm going to need it to be. But when I made it, I was just too tired to deal with it. So I got it made and then put it away. 
And that was the end of it. So now I have to deal with this huge long strip of binding. Oh well. It's my own fault. And I'm almost at the end. I thought I was. There I am. So for those of you who were wondering how I did my binding, here we go. And I just spray it, give it a little spurt, and then I press it in half. Um, hello from Canada. <laughs> Thank you, Cookies Have Chocolate. She said, do your thing. I'm here with you. Hi, Tressie. Carol's here from Delaware. Hi, Carol. Oh, Lindsay did make it. Good. Bonnie's there from Tulsa. Pam Reed's there. Um, have we gotten the patterns for the zipper bag yet? Um, not yet, Pam. And it's my fault. I, I haven't had a chance to follow up with her. I will hopefully get that done this week. And if Helga pops up, somebody tell me. Because Helga emailed me and I've lost her, um... I've lost her email address. Um, <laughs> Kay, it's because the camera is facing the window. I wonder if I can turn a little bit more. There, now you'll be able to see a little more. It's because the camera's facing the window and it doesn't like the darkness or the brightness of outside. So you guys are going to be in, I'm going to be in the dark for a few minutes. Just because I really got to get this done. it's It's been sitting here for two days and it's time to get it finished. So I'm going to get this finished and then I can move the camera. And um, I actually think what I'm going to do is try to go through one of my drawers behind my sewing table while we're on today to see what I've got buried in there because... They've become a little disorganized to say the least. So I'm like majorly frustrated here. So I gotta work on it. Can't find what I'm looking for. That's frustrating me. So that's what's going on there. And I think that's about it. We have the most gorgeous weather today in upstate New York. It is beyond beautiful. So for all those people that are having graduation parties, because it's graduation weekend for us, you done did good because you got great weather. So, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. There's a, a couple people that I meant to get back to last week and I didn't. I just got a little bit overloaded. So if you are waiting to hear from me and you didn't, email me again and I promise I will get to it this week. I think this week's going to be a little bit better than last week was. Last week it was just really, really busy. So I'm getting there. But I got to get this pressed. I'm getting there. But it is a long one. In the meantime, I hope Lindsay's answering questions. Let's see. Cold and rainy here in Kansas. Yuck, I'm sorry. Nice weather in Pennsylvania, though. Um, Susan asked, how often do I stream live? I try to stream live every Sunday at 2 o'clock. Every once in a while, there's a Sunday that I can't stream live, but for the most part, I try to do it on Sundays. So, yeah, that's the block. It's right there. And underneath it are the other pieces. I'm just, I'm trying to find my background material. I can't find it. That's what started me into the binding, guys, to be honest with you. I got to find that background material. Because I need it. For this week's video. That's what happens when your sewing room becomes bigger. You just have more opportunities to lose things. Well, I do. I need to, I got, it had to get put away for something. And now I don't, um, 
I don't have enough. I gotta find it. Lindsay's gonna have to come over here and help me. All oh, there is to it. So, oh well. I, I think I'm getting close to being done, guys. Maybe. I hope so. What's piles bigger? Yeah, the undone piles bigger. Um. Oh, um, Jennifer, they're talking, I think, about these. This one is the next quarter, and I brought the ruler over so that I could show you what ruler I'm using. Yes, Jennifer, the pinwheels are just extra. Okay. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Marilyn. Yes, um, triangle is is the pinwheel is a bonus and the um green triangles hanging there that is the next quarter yep so we're getting there and if anybody can figure it out there's actually a practice block up there for the third quarter but i'm not going to tell you what it is i'll let you guys stare at my board for a few minutes and figure out if you can see which one is part of the third quarter because there is a piece up there i'm still waiting for my background fabric to come in from the third quarter i may have to do something different because it's not here yet and i gotta get this quilt done this week so that's what's going on so it sounds like my husband is on his way over to the land I can hear the um, ranger starting up. He wanted to do that today, so he quickly got a couple honeydews done for me, and then he was going to go over and play. I loved your suggestions for the land. We still haven't figured out what we're going to do. Yes, you're going to find out for the... Um, what did Lindsay spill the beans about? Lindsay, what did you, s oh. I gotta finish this so I can find out what Lindsay's spilling the beans about. Lindsay, are you telling on me? Please don't. Not that I'll get mad at her, but. Guys, I really made this finding way too long gonna be a bear to work with. Can you you guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? So anyhow, we're getting everybody in there. We're oh haha, ha, Lindsay's in trouble. Probably. What did she tell on me? Oh my gosh. This is not working, guys. I can't keep doing this. I'm cutting this off. I gotta find out what Lindsay did wrong. I gotta find out what she told on me about. All right, we're gonna take a break from the binding for a minute. There, now you'll be able to see me again. All right, let's see. Oh, thank you, Becky. Becky said, guys, don't forget the thumbs up for Margaret. Thank you. Hi, Helga. Helga, please email me, okay? I cannot find your email. I searched and searched and searched for it, and I can't find it. All right, now, somebody tell, I'm going to scroll back through and see if I can find what Debbie, or what Lindsay did. Um, hello from Utah. Hi from Mississippi, Yvonne. And cookies have chocolates here from um, California. Hi, Becky. There's my sister. Um, hi from Southern California, Lori. Uh, Becky, I love my ironing board too. It is just perfect. Uh, hi, Vicki. 
Yeah, Linz, um, Lindsay asked if we could turn the lights on. You can't. Um, Sheila, it's on the computer, and I have no clue how to turn the computer light or the computer um, to change the camera on the computer. I'm not that good. I'm bad. Uh, hi, Jocelyn. Let's see. Hi, Carol from Delaware. And Bonnie is here from Tulsa. Oh, we answered that one. Sheila's here from Canada. Hi, Kathy from Victoria, um, Canada. Uh, will it? What will it? Uh, Lindsay is on, but your lights are not. Yeah, I know. Okay, it had to do with something else. So, hi, Margaret. The first time. Oh, hi, Linda. It's the first time she was able to get on. Um, oh. I answered that one. Don't you love watching me just read through your comments? It's nice in Franklin, PA. Sunny with a breeze. It's like that too here, Donna. I'm sorry, Sonia, that it's cold and rainy in northwest Kansas. Yuck. Hi, Ann. Um, I said hi to Arlene earlier. Up, oh, I got the ruler right here in front of me, so that's coming up next. Okay, Grandma's going to be on soon. Good. Hi, Tammy. First time making it live. Um, let's see. I still haven't seen what Lindsay told. Pam, what did Lindsay spill the beans about? I missed it. Um, <laughs> Marilyn, you'll catch up. Don't worry. It's Marilyn said I'm so behind. She still has to do Olivia's quilt. Ruth Ann, first time watching. Her daughter likes me. Oh, thank you, Kathy. And Ruth Ann. Did Helga, I hope Helga got my message. Shirley, I'll never tell your boss because I don't know who your boss is. Shirley's taking a break at work. Watching for a few minutes. That's fine. I won't tell on you. Um, taking a break from the table runner. Uh, I'm sorry the table runner's giving you a problem, Diane. Oh, Nancy finally figured out how to chat. She says it's hot and humid in Georgia, and it's 94. No, thank you. Hi, Marianne. Becky says, don't forget to do the thumbs up. Let's see. I missed one. Hang on. I'm getting there. I got to back up. Oh, boy. Am I going to be in trouble? Oh, Helga said she'll do it again. Oh, through the website contact. Helga, Lindsay, would you pop in my email address from Helga so she can get through to me? Please. Thank you. No, Ruby, the weighted blanket is still back there in a pile to do. I, Ladies, I can't keep up with everything. I keep trying to, but I can't. Let's see. Oh, Lindsay, Lindsay I need coffee. Um, oh. Ruth Ann and her daughter are watching from Hayward, Wisconsin. It's raining in Penyan, Suzanne or Susan. No, thank you. Keep it down there, please. Um, Margaret, I live in upstate New York, and you're in Vermont. I'm um right on Lake Ontario, um east of east of um Rochester. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, no, ruler for the, Sheila asked if it was about the um, ruler for the fourth quilt. No, it's about the ruler for the third quilt. And I got it right here. I'm going to show that one to you next. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, Lindsay, I forgot about that. Hi, Linda, first time watching. Okay, this is the ruler that we're going to, I've got to find something, blank piece of paper to put over it. And, of course, I don't have a blank piece of paper. 
All right, this is the ruler that we're going to be using. All right, it's the Creative Grids ruler, and it's the Creative Grids 45 degree kaleidoscope and Dresden plate. All right, now I will be going, I will be putting this on the website as soon as. as soon as um, I'm done with the designs and whether or not I figure out that I get the fabric. But you will be able to get these on my website, okay? So that's the ruler. And the reason I picked this one over all the other ones is because with this project, we're going to be able to cut both our um, 45 degree triangles and we are also going to be able to cut our Dresden plate pieces with this. So that's why I picked this ruler. It's one ruler for all of it. Bonnie asked um, what was the name of the ruler? It's the 45 degree kaleidoscope and, and Dresden plate. Okay, that's the name of the ruler and they will be available on my website I could probably put it up later today and we could do it for pre-order and I'll ship them the Monday after the 1st of July. All right. So that's the ruler that we're going to be using. And again, it's because I want to get away with one ruler. And one of the things I liked about this one, especially hopefully, well, now you can see it if I do this. Um, See the top of that ruler, how it's got a flat off top? That helps when we go to line it up. So that's the reason why I picked this one. All right, so you've got that. All right. Any other questions? Did I miss a bunch of stuff? I need the coffee too. Deb says, LOL, I need coffee. She's in Ontario, Canada. All right, so there's that. Can you guys hear my husband taking off on the four-wheeler? There he goes. He's off on the ranger into the land. So. Oh. Ruby was on vacation in Cabo San Lucas. Wow. Um... I don't know the cost. I can look it up though, so that you know. Uh, let's see, where am I? Um, hang on and I will definitely look it up for you because I wanted to know that anyhow. Um, Red Geek, hang on just a second, and I will give that to you. Let me find notions. And then let me do, hang on two seconds. Whoops. Um, it is, oh, come on. There. Um, it retails for $18.45, so that's the ruler, okay? Um, let's see. Yes, the ruler is for the third quarter project, which if you watched at the be beginning, you saw part of the third quarter quilt. I showed it last week, okay? So... <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. It's okay to be a new quilter. We'll go through it step by step. Red Geek just got back from horseback riding. I, I cannot imagine how much fun that must be just to be able to take off and go riding. I would like to do that. Yeah. All right, so what else is going on, ladies? 
We all know what's coming up, right? Does everybody know what we're doing? Um, the triangle that was hanging on the wall is part of the next quarter quilt. I, my background fabric should have been in last week and it's not in yet. So I need to work it a little bit. Okay, wait a minute. What are all the no's for? I missed something again. Guys, you guys keep me going. Oh, I know what it is. Nobody knows what's going on. Okay, sorry. Um. Oh, I'm glad Bonnie. Bonnie likes the zigzag tutorial that I did. Okay, this is what's going on. All right. Right now, I started it on Friday and I did pinwheel blocks. And as a bonus block, I am going to show you how to take a panel and make it so that it's the same size as your block. My panel blocks are like eight and a quarter and my blocks are 12 and a quarter. So I, we're going to walk through that as soon as I find my background material. On July 1st, the third quarter quilt gets announced. Okay. Um, another project that's coming up is our Maxwell bag fabric has been ordered. I have right back here my big a big box full of the thick um, rope that you need to be able to make the handles on the Maxwell bag. That one's coming up. Um, what else is coming up? We've got a lot coming up and now all of a sudden I'm having a brain freeze and I can't remember all of them. Lindsay, help me. Okay, so um, that's what we've got going on. Then in, so for July, August, and in, in September, we've got the um, panel, we've got the third quarter quilt, we've got the Maxwell bag, and there's one other project that's hanging out there. Oh, remember those by Annie projects? I'm just waiting for the pattern to come in. So we've got that. Oh, that's right, Lindsay. Thank you. Layer cake. That's the other one. We've got layer cake love coming up. Sew together bag. That's a September project. That one's not going to happen until September. So in September, we've got, we'll be finishing up the third quarter quilt. We've got the sew together bag. The beginning of October, the fourth quarter quilt will be announced. And then I think we're going to be doing um, another small quilt, another quick quilt of some sort, okay? Um, Anne asked, how do you guys find out what's coming up in the future? Anne, are you on our Facebook page? If you're on our Facebook page, we talk about it. But I have a feeling I'm going to need to build a page on my website so that you can. And we always go over them here in the live streams, okay? Susie Frost asked Layer Cake. It's called Layer Cake Love. And um, what we do with... Oh, you're right, Ruby. Hang on just a second. Um, and what we'll do is uh, do that one here. Lindsay is making one right now. And I've ordered some absolutely stunning layer cakes that I think you guys will really, really like it. Um, so I think that will be great. Um, Deb, all patterns I will have available with the kits. So I think what I'm going to do based on what everybody asked for last week when we were talking is what I'll do is a notions kit, then I'll do the pattern and then I'll do a fabric kit. So if you want to do the exact same fabric that I'm doing, you'll be able to. And I'll also have the notions kit for those who already own the pattern. And I'll sell the pattern for those who don't. Okay. I'll grab, um, I'll see if I can grab the pattern. Hang on, because it's right, it should be right here in my, yep, it is. Hang on just a second. My pattern is right here. Um, 
Oh, and we've got this quilt. Remember this one? That one's in September. Yeah, don't forget about that one, Margaret, because we really like that one. This is the Maxwell bag. I'll show you the picture. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can you see it? There's the Maxwell bag. Hi, Ken. And there's another picture of it. So there's the Maxwell bag. All right. Uh, Marsha, the next quilt that we're starting will actually be in July 1st. Okay. This one will start the next one. So I'm writing this down so that we don't forget. So July, we've got the Maxwell bag. We've got the third quarter quilt. And we've got layer cake love. And um, I know I will have kits for the Maxwell bag, and I know I will have kits for layer cake love, and that is a free pattern. So we will have all of that stuff. The pattern, Janet asked, she wants to do layer cake love for her granddaughter, whose name is also Olivia. Or I'm sorry, she wants to do the Olivia quilt for her granddaughter named Olivia. Um, you can find the cutting instructions on our, our Facebook page, Margaret Lewin Quilting, and then the instructions on how to put it together are right here on Facebook right here on YouTube, okay? They're still in video format, but a couple of people have stepped up and they are helping with writing patterns for me. Diane is here from hot Northern California. And the panel quilt, you're right. Sorry, I forgot about that one. So we've got four things going on in July. That's a lot, guys. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Bye, Ruth. It was nice to see ya. Hi, Susan Berry. Oh, yeah, the shipping to the UK is very expensive. Yeah. And I'm not showing anything more on the quilt that comes out on the 1st until the 1st, okay? The panel quilt, Susan, yes. I spoke with a designer um, one day last week, and absolutely, yes. We will be able to um, get everything right from me. It's just a matter of me connecting with her to get the fabric. And I'm hoping that I'll connect with her later this week. So you should be able to. All right. Oh, Diane just finished her first mystery quilt with Lynn from Simply Colorful Fiber Casters. I've never heard of her. She's going to participate in the third quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, get white. Oh, you're in Cape May. Mark Lipinski was just live in Cape May not long ago with Mr. Electric. They were down there on the shore. So it was beautiful there. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad you're there relaxing. It's a good thing to do. So we've got a lot going on in, in this summer, guys. That's a lot for summer projects. So... Um, like I said, everything will be available for sale on my website. Just some things are going to end up coming out after I've done it. Some things will come out beforehand. Um, no, Mark Lipinski is not the singing quilter. Yep. Oh, Angela said yesterday she went, um, Shopping for the panel in her local quilt shop and they didn't have it. Yeah, Angela, we will have it. It's just a matter of um, me connecting with the designer. 
The designer lives about 45 minutes away from me. Helga wants to know um, if the K facet fabrics for the third quarter quilt. I more than likely will have them. What I need to do though is make sure that I've got enough people participating in it because um, I have to I have to buy the entire bolt. And um, Lindsay and I are happy to get up the fat quarters and stuff cut up, but I've got to buy the bolt. So I want to make sure that I've got enough people buying the kit so that I don't lose money because. I have to pay for it all up front, and I don't mind doing that. It's just if I buy a whole bolt of fabric and I only sell three kits off of it, I tend to lose a lot of money. So that's why I have to be a little cautious. So that's what's going on there. Um, yes, Lindsay, you and I, I will help you, but we have to quarter it all up. So that's absolutely, that is the truth. That's what we got to do. So, all right, um, <laughs> Tressie asked if I was going to sell the panels on my site. Yes, I will. Okay, Deb, you're in for a kit? That makes me happy. Thank you. Somehow I've got to, um, do pre-orders on it in and as soon as I figure that out on my end, that's what we'll do. Okay, Janet, that's fantastic. I think based on last week, we've got enough people that want to do it. Um, I just I just have to double check and make sure before I order all the fa fabric. Um, Diane, email me at Margaret at MissMarkersQuilts.com and we can do a conversation back and forth. Thank you so much. <laughs> Susan Berry says she needs another 24 hours in the day to do all these projects. How do you think I feel? I think I need like more than that. I think I need like a full 72 or something. It just, yeah, it's, it's just, there's not enough hours in the day at all. Yep. Yeah. And Arlene, they are really, really expensive for me to purchase. And I don't mind doing it. I just have to make sure that, um, that I have enough people that are going to do it. And I want you to see it before you buy it to make sure that you really like it. So... Suzanne, yes, we're talking about the third quarter quilt, which is, I think, a week from yesterday is, is when I'll show it. And then that'll give you guys a chance to decide whether or not you want to buy it. It's not a difficult quilt, but it's different, guys. But I, I love it. Yeah, I, I, we're, I think it's going to be really, really cool. How much is a bolt of fabric? Well, it's usually 15 yards to a bolt, and it's over $10 a yard. And I have to buy as many bolts, or as many, um, as many bolts as I have different fabric in it. So in the triangle, I have four different fabrics right now. And then, um, and then from there. Now, I'm hoping to be able to get them wholesale because if I can get them wholesale, then it it makes me, you know, it makes it worthwhile for me to do the work to do it because it does take a lot of time for us. And while my daughter says she loves working with me, she does appreciate it when I do other things. Um, yeah, Suzanne also asked if I would be um, offering kits for the panel quilt. And yes, I will. I just have to meet up with the designer. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruby. Yes, we are going to get to the weighted blanket. It just seems to have gotten put on the sideline. The only thing I have left to do is I need to videotape um, the beads, getting the beads into it, and, um, and start sewing a couple of rows. 
then Lindsay has said that she will finish putting it together for me and then I'll just have to show you how to do the back. So there's three steps with that quilt and I have taped the first one. I'm just about ready to do the second one, but I know it's not going to happen this week because Lindsay has to work. So I'm hoping next week, all right, that I will get to that. And, and Lindsay's been after me for it because a lot of people have asked about the weighted blanket. Arlene says, what we need is a day just for quilting that no one else has. And that's absolutely the truth. Helga, I wish you did live close enough. Yes, Lindsay, now that the long arm, Lindsay said that now that the long arm's back up and running, maybe we can get it done next week. And we may be able to. I just have to be able to tape. And then I can hand it off to Lindsay to do more of the work. This is a project that Lindsay's going to really be doing. And then um, and then I have to finish it up, and that will work. Tressie, go ahead if you have um, – Tressie, go ahead if you have a question about cutting. And, Gail, yes, eight years ago, my mother, my sisters – um, Jane and Sue, myself and Lindsay, and my sister Sue's daughter and my sister-in-law, we all went to Cape May for a couple of days and we had a wonderful time. Absolutely wonderful. Lori, I do have more supplies for the beetle bag. You Obviously, you don't need the pattern or if you do need the pattern, they're still available on... Um, my website so you can go right out and order them. I have two full kits ready to go. That's all I have left at this stage is two. And then um, I do have the refills. So they're out on my website. Um, my fill, favorite quilt batting for quilts, Brandy, is um, Quilter's Dream. I love wool. Wool is my absolute positive favorite. If if money was, and it's not outrageously expensive, it's only a couple dollars more. But if money was never, ever a question, I would always use wool. I would never use anything other than wool. My second favorite is Quilter's Dream Select. It is a very nice, soft weight and just beautiful to work with. My third favorite is Quilter's Dream Deluxe. Now that is a much heavier batting and a little bit stiffer. So if I want a blanket that has more weight to it, I will use that one. Um, Quilter's Dream is by far my absolute favorite for a number of reasons. The first reason is it's consistent. I have never, in all the years I've been quilting, I have never opened up a bag of Quilter's Dream batting where there it was not extremely consistent across the board. That's the first thing. The second thing, I know exactly what it's made of. The cotton is 100% cotton and it doesn't pill. Other battings have little pills on the top of them. Kind of reminds me of the Princess and the Pea. If you have anybody that's like a Princess and the Pea, they'll fill those. Um, let's see. Um, those are my favorite battings. They are all reasonable or in line with the other costs, but those are my favorite batting. Um, Gail, I would love to come back. I don't see it happening this summer though, but maybe we could do it, um, maybe we could do it later. I put the line on the, okay, I don't know what that conversation is. Okay, um... We did have a not, lot of fun in Cape May, Lindsay. It was really nice. And yes, Lindsay was very pregnant for her older child. Um, Bonnie Fogg, I will let you know as soon as the kits are up on the website, what I'm probably going to do is similar to what I did with the beetle bag. Just put them up there as a pre-sale, and then that way we'll be able to get them all together okay and get them shipped out like we did before 
Um, Susan Berry said, do you have to wash Quilter Stream batting before using it? No, do not wash your batting before using it. You're just going to use it. Yeah. No, you don't have to. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Yes, Bonnie, the pre-sale thing worked out really well, and I think I'm probably going to do that for the third quarter quilt because that's my very, very, um, very, um, that's the best way for me to do it so that I can handle the expenses on this time. Oh, Gail, I would love to do a retreat in Cape May. Yes, you can iron batting, but I've never had to, ever had to. The, um, the other thing that I like about my Quilter's Dream is that it is 100% washable, absolutely washable. Right now, we're using one of my quilts to um, in the high chair for Boone, so Boone can sit in there. He had food all over it the other day. I took it, I threw it in the washing machine, threw it in the dryer, and it's back on his high chair again so that he can sit and eat. Um, yes, Angela, I do use wool even on summer quilts. The quilt on my bed right now in the house has wool batting in it. And the reason being is because it is a natural fiber and wool breathes just as much as it is warm. So I use it year round. Yep. And yes, Lindsay, we do put the batting yeah, you don't wash it or put it in the dryer before you use it. You just use it. Um, Alicia asked if the winters are bad in upstate New York. I guess that depends upon what you think bad is. Um, we do um, we do get snow. There are winters that we have uh, really heavy snows. There's other winters that we don't. You know, um, we live, I live a block from a major highway. You know, I'm far enough away, but yet close enough away. So I never have a bit of issues with roads here. And it's cold, but it's, I mean, my daughter's in Alaska. That's cold, you know, when it, when you got to plug your car and otherwise it won't stop, start. So, I mean, it's absolutely it's gorgeous in upstate New York I love it here yeah oh well Alicia if you live close to a ski, ski slope New York won't bother you you're right Sus Susan said that it depends upon what area of the state you're in we are in upstate New York very very close to um, Lake Ontario in fact we're just a couple miles from Lake Ontario so consequently um, we do get snow, but we don't get snow like they get it up in the Adirondacks either. So, yeah. Uh, Bonnie said, upstate New York are real pioneers. Those snow accumulations is not what I could handle. Yeah, um, the state of New York kind of goes up and around and down and up and around. We're like right near the bottom of Lake Ontario. So, we're not over in the Adirondacks or up upstate New York. We're, um, I guess we're really more middle state New York. Um, once in a while, Alicia, my, my um, asthma really kicks in bad here. But what I'm allergic to is mold. So I have a harder time in the wet seasons. I usually get a bad bout of it in the spring and in the fall. So it's not too bad. And yes, we do get lake effect snow. Can you show right quick where do you line up fabric? I mean, under the line of the ruler or up to the, oh, okay. Susan's on Cayuga Lake. Okay, then you know exactly what it's like. Okay. Um, this is what I do, Tressie. Tressie asked about lining up fabric. I'm going to move so that I can get it next to the camera. See this? See my line here? Okay. I'm going to take it, and what I do is I line it up so that I can't see. See, now on this side, you can still see the pink paper. I'm going to bring it down so that 
I can't see the paper on the other side. So there you go. That's how I line it up. So you'll line it up right like that so that you can't see your fabric on the other side. Okay? Yeah, we've got a couple of really good pulmonary specialists up here, Alicia. It's okay. I don't care that you took me off the quilting topic. Oh, you're very welcome. Bonnie Fox said, I just learned something. That's where I take it to when I sew. Just remember, whatever you do, consistency is the most important. Wherever, you know, if you are consistently cutting your fabric just over the line, just be consistent about it. That's what matters. Hmm. Okay. Wow, you guys kept me busy today. All right, so what else is going on now that you know what I'm working on? Mm. Hi, Nancy. You're welcome, Trussie. All right, what else is going on? Holy cow, guys, it shows here that we've hit 114 people. Wow. Oh, good. Lindsay's going to finish her layer cake love. Pinked edge, edges of pre-cuts. Diane said she has problems with those. Diane, pick your point wherever you want to be. If you want to be on the inside of the pinked, be on the inside. If you want to be on the right on the edge of the pink, be on the edge of the pink all the way down the line. That's what you've got to do with those pre-cuts. Yeah. Susan Berry, yes, the um, the creative grids are my favorite, and there is a creative grids in UK because the owner of the company contacted me once, and I never heard from them again. So, um, yes, there is a creative grids in UK. If you Google it, you'll probably find it. I can't remember the name of the guy that emailed me, but yeah. Creative Grids is in UK so that you should be able to get them. Um, cotton quilting for the first. Oh, Becky is dying cotton for quilting. Neat. I saw Annette shared her dad's love note quilt. It was beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing it. Alicia just finished a new Hunter Star. Wow, that sounds pretty. Holy cow, now you... Um, yeah, there it is, Becky. Um, Susan, if you have a hard time finding them, let me know and I'll see if I can help you out, okay? Oh, wait a minute, I missed that one. Hang on, back up, Margaret. Bonnie says she's making a granddaughter a soft ball drawstring bag using grommets and lining. He had to fidget, fidget with special stitches to get that to get one that looks like baseball stitches. Great idea, Bonnie. Um Tressy, if you iron batting, it it really doesn't do anything to it, but be careful because if you've ended up with a polyester batting, it's gonna melt all over your iron. And you really don't need it to. Just take it out of the bag and smooth it out and it'll be fine. Annette, I absolutely am envious of you. She said she just reorganized her sewing room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm, thank you. Bless your heart, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay got, um, I'm, I, I don't mind, I like teaching my children, but I like my children to try to figure it out on their own first, and then I show them how to do it. And, um, Lindsay is absolutely doing a wonderful job of learning how to sew clothing, and I'm pretty proud of her. 
Okay, good, Tressie. As long as you're buying all cotton, that's what counts. And just, um, you don't need to iron it. Just use it. That's all you have to do. <sighs> no. Bonnie said her sewing room is all over her house. Believe me, mine used to be. But, oh, I'm looking around. Right now, you don't want me turning this camera around to see my mess. Because I do have a mess. Hmm. <laughs> Yep. Oh, guys. Huh. All right. So, what's everybody doing this week? Now that we know what everybody, what we're all sewing on, you guys know what I'm working on this week. I'm working on the third quarter quilt. I got to get that thing done. I'm hoping that my fabric's going to be here tomorrow. And that's going in for major surgery in two weeks. Yuck. I'm sorry. We'll all be praying for you, though. Alicia, please do save a picture of it. <laughs> Susan Berry just had her evening meal at her cutting mat. I think that's cool. Oh, I love Bargello quilts. Oh. Alicia just got a job. Congratulations. Oh, Annette. Annette, you be careful after your back surgery and you make sure you do everything that they tell you to do, okay? Susan's working on a jelly quilt. Diane's getting cortisone shot tomorrow in her knee. Helga said, I'm always concerned about fire when it comes to batting. Polyester will melt, melt to your skin. It will. Pamela Reed is quilting her grandson's new, her great grandson's I Spy quilt. Do you know Quilter's Dream has also come out with a batting now? It's called Dream Angel. Do I have a piece? No, I don't. And it's um for children's quilts. Uh, I guess it's flame retardant, which I think is pretty neat. Becky says she's got to do some more dyeing as well as finishing some quilts and starting new ones. You're my kind of girl. Oh, Angela's leaving on her work trip pretty soon. Angela, are we going to miss you or are you going to be able to pop in with us while you're away for work? I wondered that the other day. Yeah, Bargello quilts are really beautiful, guys. Carol made 10 microwave bags this morning. Wow. Oh, Diane, tell us about scent, works with, with scent work with your dog for a trial next Saturday. What kind of dogs do you have and what are you t doing? And that's going to try to finish her sister's quilt before surgery. That's cool. And it's ocean theme. Oh, I bet you that's beautiful. I have, have I quilted a Bargello? Yes, I did. Yep, I did. We, um, oh, Christine, you're very welcome. Christine said, thanks for your replies to my emails. Um, Oh, good. Angela said it depends upon her flights, but while she's there, she shouldn't have a problem popping in. So that's good. Um, I quilt, when you go to quilt a Bargello quilt, one of your best bets is to keep the quilting simple because that, because a Bargello quilt has so much detail in it, you're never going to see the, the quilting. So think very simple, okay? Sent dogs for medical or, oh, okay. Um, Carol said they were um, 10 microwave potato bags. That's really cool. Um, I didn't, there weren't, it wasn't bad. If you, if when you get to it, you're having, you think you're going to have a hard time, take it and put it on your ironing board first and press it from the front or back. It doesn't matter, but just press down those seams as much as you can. Okay. 
Oh, Suzanne's making a skirt too. So she's into clothing. Oh, I'm sorry, Annette, that you won't get it done before the surgery. Because that could be something that you could, you know, do the hand stitching. Oh, Alicia, that's a fantastic thing. Alicia wants to train her dog to be a service dog for her anxiety and for her husband's diabetes. That's a wonderful thing to do. I, We have friends who their son is diabetic and blind, and he has a service dog, and that dog does great things. Yep. That's exciting. Oh, Pamela Reed, she says she's got to run. She said, requesting prayers, prayers for my best friend, Leanne, whose husband just passed away morning, moments ago. I'm so sorry, Pam. Oh, my gosh. That's, I am so, so sorry. That's really hard. Our prayers are definitely with you guys. I'm sorry. Oh. That's that's hard, guys. Um Oh, Diane, that's fantastic. Diane has a um a dog and he's passed the three levels so far. Fantastic. Yes, Annette, please. Hmm. That's wonderful, guys. Um, I think that's it for today. So I am going to be signing off. I want you guys to all have a fantastic week. And I will see you this week on Facebook. And we've got a bunch going on here, too, on YouTube. So... Don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and our Facebook group if you're on Facebook. And, guys, go out to my website, which is Miss Markers Quilts, and make sure that you are subscribed because I think I'm going to start trying to do things in email format for you guys, too. So, see you later, guys. Go have fun quilting, okay? And I'll see you again really soon. Bye.